Good evening. This is Pike Build Day 3. I again forgot to start vlogging about what I was doing before, but it was pretty simple. I took all of the pattern pieces that I had cut out, a la this. I placed them on foam. I took my newly ordered Amazon cutting knife and I cut them out. I used nearly all of the foam that I had. Um, actually, I used pretty much all of it. And now I have everything. Some of it had to be cut into smaller pieces to fit on my foam sheets because they were only nine inch by 12 inch sheets. Um, so now I have a box of pieces. Um, the only large piece that I had left is this one that I actually bought from Michaels, which was the last six millimeter foam sheet that was at Michaels. I bought it because I just was like, maybe I'll need an extra one. And I did need an extra one. So all of the main pieces are cut out. It is now nearly 10 o'clock. That took a while to do. I've been listening to campaign one of Critical Role while I've been doing it, which maybe was a little distracting. I'm tired. Um, I had thought that I would be able to glue everything tonight. I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. Oh, I look tired. Oh, oh. I don't know if that's gonna happen tonight. Um, because I also probably need to dremel the edges a little bit of some of the pieces to clean them up. This is my first time cutting thick foam, and for the most part it came out pretty good. Like, we got nice clean edges here, um, but some of them have little tags on them, and some of them, when I cut it awkwardly, it just came out with some little bumps along corners and whatnot that I'd like to smooth out. Um, so I want to try and do that. It's like a little tag on the end of this one. Just smooth it out. I got the pike dress. I'm going to cut the skirt part into a front section tabard and a back section and then pull the sides up. I think that's it. I can do it. I hope. I'm tired. Goodbye. Good night. Day three. Hello everybody. Welcome to day four of my five day pike build. So this morning before work, I started doing a little bit of gluing to see how it would go. And I now have the front part of a, one half of the front part of a breastplate. Um, and I'm gonna try and glue everything else together, dremel all the rough edges, um, use the tacky thing to seal those edges, and then glue, no, and then prime with plaster dip before the sun sets at 7.30. It is now six o'clock. Let's see how this goes. As might be guessed, I have 
not finished gluing and dremeling and sealing before sunset. Yeah, still some light outside, which I figured. Um, I'm still gonna try and prime tonight just in the dark. So I finished one half of gluing all the pieces. Uh, here's a leg bracer, for example, nice and glued. And then I also dremeled that half just to get an idea how it works and because a few of the pieces needed um, their sides to be smoothed out before they could be glued. But this is one half of a breastplate, so that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I need to take a food break. I'm very hungry. Oh, hi. Um, I didn't want her to get into the compact with cement or the Dremel bits, so I've been trying to keep her out of my room. But she is a very curious cut, and she is going to jump out the window, so I'm going to try and get her out of my room. Dinner time, continue gluing, we'll see how it goes. So I didn't get to priming at all tonight. Uh, I did finish all the retro molding. Ooh, my face is red from the mask. And um, caulking all of the seams. Um, I'm wondering if I should have heat sealed the foam before I caulked the seams. It's too late now. It's 11 o'clock and I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna let all of this caulk dry and then prime tomorrow and paint tomorrow and do the dress tomorrow and I think that's it I hope that's it yep this is a lot more work than I thought I knew it would be a lot of work I should have anticipated I'm tired Let's go to bed. Day four, done.